What's up everybody? So some of you asked me to review the Pixel Experience Room based on Android 12 on the OnePlus Nord and other devices. Now that it is in the stable version, which means you will get all the OTAs and everything along with the Pixel specific features. So before we get into that, please make sure you tap on that subscribe button and press that bell icon if you haven't already. It's free and helps the channel out. And just in case you wish to watch this video in Hindi language, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel. So now that this ROM is in the stable version, this means that you will get all the monthly updates right into your settings. And you can use it normally as you do with any stock ROM installed. So that's a good thing I guess. Let me start off with the benchmark scores first. So on Geekbench, the device scores as high as 597 in single core and 1757 in the multi-core score. Similarly on the Android 2, the device scores around 4,1000 approximately, which is really decent on paper. Now about the launcher and UI, which is nothing other than pure stock Android as expected. And this won't have any extra features, because just like Pixel phones, you will have everything similar in customization part 2 including all the wallpapers from Pixel 6 series, which look quite dope. So the launcher is as usual bloat free and works well on 90Hz with smooth animations across applications. You also get the Google Camera Go application inbuilt here, so that works quite well too and take some quick snaps as it is a light version of Google Camera. Though you can sideload the full camera application just in case and that will work fine too. And yeah, there is no OnePlus camera application as usual. Also, please don't expect OnePlus contacts and dialer application to work on this one. Plus, this one also passes safety in it, which means that Google Pay and all payment applications work just fine. You obviously get the Material U theming for system applications, mostly like the Pixel phones, along with the always on display with little to no customization as expected. The room, like some others, has also a separate Wi Fi and data toggle tile, which was introduced with the December update. In settings, there isn't much to discuss here, but the UI is similar to that of stock Android rooms that you have seen on this channel, and you cannot expect some big customizations out of this one, as it has to stay pure pixel-like experience with some improvements. By the way, the alert slider also works fine, just in case you were wondering, and the widewind level is still L3 only. And yeah, you won't expect any OnePlus settings on this one, but you can expect timely updates in system, which is appreciated. Apart from that, we do get the gaming mode from Pixel 6 phones that has the inbuilt FPS counter to keep a track of your BGMI frames, which is handy and you will appreciate that feature of course. And just in case you are wondering, no it doesn't support 90 FPS on BGMI. The performance with games like BGMI was quite good in my short time with it and I did play a couple of games and the game ran just fine without any extra heat up. And while the device is now almost 2 years old, it can still hold up just fine for casual gaming and even some serious multitasking without any issues. So in this room, you can expect some good performance in everyday usage as well. In the battery department, it gave me around 6 hours with some gaming and close to 7 hours otherwise with some medium usage that includes social media applications, calls and some streaming, which is in line with some other rooms that you must have tried till now. So this one is basically for those who want nothing else apart from pixel-like experience on their device, minus any extra features and overall this room can make any device to feel like a Google Pixel phone with monthly updates and decent stability which is better than OEMs even. And I like the no fuzz nature of custom rooms in general. Now let's see how you can install this one on your device. So the process to install is very simple. Just follow me alright and don't miss out on any step. First up, you need an unlocked bootloader to install this one. And if you haven't done it till now, here is a card to that video. After that, you just have to download the zip file from the link in description area. And that contains your driver, image file as well as the ROM zip file. So just right click and extract the zip file that you have downloaded. And this has everything for you. In short, the biggest zip file here is your ROM file and the image file is your recovery. And you need the recovery file to install the ROM. As simple as that. So once this step is done, it's now time to connect your device in fast food mode with your PC. So to do that, just turn off your device and after that, long press volume up, down and power key at the same time for like 4 to 5 seconds till you see this fast food mode screen on your device. That means your device has booted to the fast food mode. Now your device is ready to be flashed with the custom room. 
So just open the ROM folder that we downloaded in the first place and type cmd in the address bar and hit the enter button. So after that it will open the command prompt. Now in the command prompt type fastboot space devices. So this will give you some random number and this is basically the serial number of your device. Which means that you have connected your device successfully to your PC. But if this command displays nothing then you might have missed something above. Now in the command prompt type fastboot space boot space recovery dot img and press the enter key. After this your device will boot into this AEX recovery menu. Well done. Now just tap on the apply upgrade option on your device and then click on apply from adb. And now for the last step type adb space side load space and now drag and drop the zip file on your cmd and press the enter key. Or you can just type the name of file like adb space side load space name of the file and press the enter key. This will start installing the ROM on your device and it will be done in a few minutes. So leave it alone for a few minutes till it completes and once it's done disconnect your device click on this back button on the top left corner and just select this format data or factory reset option and click on the factory reset option to basically format your internal storage. So your device will reboot to Android 12 on this pixel experience room. And I hope that was simple enough for you. Also if you have any doubts, I'll leave a link to the telegram community in the description area. And you can get your issues resolved from there. So this was a short way to flash the and so this was a short way to flash the Android 12 based Pixel Experience ROM on your OnePlus Nord. And if you do end up liking this video, please make sure to tap on that subscribe button and press that like button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.